cut out so we hadn't cut it out and my this is for my stripes but I want it to be able to go like this with a zipper around it have a zipper around it and have it fold over and snap too then I want the handles to be oh I guess right here would be great for the handles and can you see where I'm coming from here? I think that this would look, look really good. And all. So that's the way I want to try to make it. So, now then. Let's see if we can't get some things started here. I need it. Nine and a half by 20. So we're going to go nine and a half. We've got this. One, two, three, four, eight, nine. And this right here will be a hat. Okay, I don't have one up here. So let me kind of guesstimate at it. Alright, now, I'm going to have to open this up. I'm going to go this way with it. And we want 20. So, let me turn this around. I ain't never prepared Emmy. Never. <laughs> Emmy just left. So. We got her going. Alright, here's 20. Right here. Now then, I want to take, and I'm going to lay this right here on top of it. Like this, so I can get the same thing right here and cut it down. Alright. Now, I want to put something at each tip of this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this and lay it down. Let's see how big that is. See if it's going to be big enough. Yeah, two inches should be enough. So, we're going to cut that down. And then, we'll have one on each side to put on the zipper. So, we have that. Now, I need... Ooh, this is what I want right there. Okay. Now I need for my straps, and I have it double layered, two of them, and we'll try to keep them together so they'll be a little bit more thicker. So uh, what I want to cut is three inches. So let me get this together, fold it. I want to cut a little bit off to make it level. Okay, turn it over. And I'm going to go three inches, or get yeah, three inches. So now I have my handle. Yep, that'll work just fine. Okay, now we need our um doo -doo -doo, our pockets so and our pockets on the inside so how big are these now turn around 
about four inches here. So let's go four inches on this. Let's get it lined up. Better go down here. So I do have lines. There's too many up there. So we're going to go four inches. One, two, three, four. Four inches. Find out which line it goes to. Do that. Looks a bit small. Let's go on up one more. I'd be more happy with it. That's to put our Bible, or the corners of our Bible in, which would be right in here, like that. And they need to be, let's see, what was that one? Nine and a half. <coughs> so let's go nine and a half. Line back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope. And half. Okay, so now there's those two. It goes on that. Now we got to worry about the outside pocket. Keep that one together and go down. I'm going to trim this one down. And I think that will be wide enough for them to go on the outside. So now let's do this. And we want to make these. Ooh. Um. Yeah, they're nine and a half too. So let's put them nine and a half. And there we go with that. So now let's see what we got here and what we need. These right here will be these two right here. So we have that. And these right here will be the two right here. We have that. Here's the handle and then here's the case thing. Now we need this right here part. It goes around. So let's get this out some more here. And how big is this? Oh, it's okay, that, that should be big enough. Alright, so right here, let's take and level it up. It won't take much. I'm going to buy some lines that are on the material. Okay. So now we're going to turn this over. And we're going to get two of these. One for each side of the zipper. Alright. I think we have everything that we need. So now... Let's give us a minute, get things straightened out here, and then we'll be back. Okay. This is what I want to do with the zipper. So I'm going to fold this in half. And I'm just going to press it out. Give it a fold. on both of them. Alright. Now, I want to take and sew it down like this first. It's going to be like this first. Backwards. First. And then turn it like this and sew it down again to give us a good clean look on it. Alright, then when I get that done, I want to box this in, so this side and this side, and then put this inside of it and sew it down to it, so that that would look good on these ends. So that's what I'm going to work on now. 
So when I get those done, then we'll be back. I'm happy with the way this right here ha uh, did. I, didn't, I wish this right here would have been even, but I'm not going to worry too much about it because it's going to be towards more towards, you know, the bottom of the bag. But this is what it looks like on the back of it. And it works pretty good. I'm really happy with it. But I do need to trim this down. Alright, so let's see what we're going to do next. I'm going to trim that down first so I don't forget it. This one right here I want to be trimmed. There isn't nothing I can do about this one because it's not even and I don't want to cut this. Not right now. It may, well, you, you know, it's not going to hurt anything because... Um, no, I'm leaving it. Something tells me to leave it. I'm leaving it. I may regret it, but okay. Alright, now, let's see. Let's work on on this right here. As we can tell, we're going to have to trim it down. But, I'm going to take this and we're going to pin it down. So it together. Because this is our handle. <laughs> so I get to work on it. handle so down looks pretty good I'm happy with it all right now I have some rick rack that I want to sew on the edges of all four of these and it's a pretty blue so you can see it so I'm going to sew these on to these right here and then I'll come back and see what else I want to do then I got these right here so down. Hooray. I'll put that aside just in case we're going to come back to it. So now, what I want to do now is we have, we're going to have to have two of these right here. One of them, we're going to put these, this right here on it, the smaller ones, for the Bible. And one on the outside. So we'll have a pocket. But <clears throat> before I do that, I want to take and put these two together like this. Ooh, that's not going to work. We're going to have to put them together first. I think what we need to do is take one right here. And we're going to sew all the way around it. So at least we'll have one sewed to this. And then we'll take it from there. So let's do that first. Alright, this one right here we just done. I want it to be on the outside. This one's a small one. It goes over there. This one's a big one. It goes here. Here's a big one. And here's a small one. Alright. So we're going to put this one right here and we're going to sew it down so stick is this on the outside all right now i'm not quite for sure where this one right here will go <coughs> so if i take the bible lay it there you know that's too big we're going to have to 
go down on it some. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to turn it, and we have it right there. I'm going to turn it down all the way across. There we go. That's more like what I want. I'm going to find me a line right there. So, there we go. Okay. I think that right there would be where we want it at. Let's fold it down some more. Okay. I think that's about right, right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin this one down. There we go. on this one. Because that one right there is two up there. Let's move it down. I think right about there is good. So let's just fold it to. Let's fold it right on its line there. <coughs> I'm pretty glad I kept them on their line. Because there's lines on this material. And it is helping with uh, keeping it going right. Okay. Now I'm happy with that one. So we're going to sew these down on it. Now with this one right here, they are going to be what holds the Bible in this right here. So let's put that one on the edge. I think that looks good. We're going to flop it down. Pin it all the way around. Alright, now. We have this one. It's going to be in it. Now we've got to open this one up. And I'm going to put this one in it. Oop, it's this way. Like that right there. And there we go. Right there. So now I'm going to pin it down. Alright. So on this one, I'm going to sew it like this all the way around on it. And. You know what, I wonder, how about if I just take this, like this, right here, I don't see why that wouldn't work, I don't, I don't see why that right there would not work, so let's pin it down to this one, and we'll sew it all the way around. <coughs> I got these other pins out of my way too, so that'll work. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Y'all will see it. So, let's leave an opening. And I'll say, leave the opening right down here at the very end. And I'm just going to go that much on it. So I got plenty of room to open it up. So let's go sew that down and see what happens. Okay, now that we got that sewed down, let's do some trimming to it. I'm going to cut off all these right here, tabs that we don't need. We want to cut the corners right here so they will turn and look a whole lot better. Okay. these off, cut these, now let's try to turn it around without getting stuck, <clears throat> we got all these pins here, stop taking them out as we go.
Alrighty. So, now then, we want to take this right here and sew it down through here, across here, and across down here. Cover our hole up right here. So, what we're going to do is sew all the way around it and right here. And sew it. We're going to sew it down here. That will get both of these if we sew it right here. Right there. Right along this line. So I'm going to put me a couple pins right here. Keep that. Alright, let's sew it all the way around. I have it put in there pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. So see, I want this right here to have a button or snap put right here. You know what? I don't think that I need that zipper. You know what? I'm going to put it in there anyway. Then that way it stays on there. But it'll go on last. So now i got to figure out how I'm going to snap right here and up here. These are used snaps, but they will work. Because I used them the last time on something. I just got to take those open them up see I'm not too good with this stuff but I try to make it work just as well as I possibly can there we go we got that I want to take this round thing off without hurting my thumb because my thumb is still messed up. Alright, I'll save that little piece. Put that out of way. Let's work on this one. Get it out. going to be my hardest part right here so <coughs> like this out and right here is where we're going to want one of these pieces at right here so let me get me a pencil so I can mark it I don't want a permanent one okay let's try this again Lay it like this, right about here. So I'm going to take the needle, and I'm going to put it right here. And that way we know where we want this one at up here. And then I want this one right here. So, there's a dot right there. Then that way, I can see that dot. And I start with this. So now we need a little hole in there. Little one, not a big one. We'll stick that in there. We'll do that. And that. Okay. There's that. Turn this around and put our little piece of material in there, like this. Then we're going to put one of these in there. And then we're going to bend it back over. 
and try not to hurt our thumb as we go. Alright, that should take care of that one. Now let's do this one. I'm going to have to find me a uh, pair of pliers. And then what I'm going to do is we have two little pieces somewhere. And of course they would be gone. Okay. So I'm going to get the little piece of this right here. And cut this down as level as I can. I'm going to make me a little box, and then I'm going to take it and set it on this and sew it down. I don't need this much, so I will cut some of it off, but I'm going to put me a little box right there, and then we'll be back. Alrighty, that didn't turn out too bad at all. I think it looks pretty good. We can handle that. Now let's put on our, our strap here. <coughs> Fold this down. I got the dog over here prancing around here. Alright. So, what I'm going to do here, see, I got it flattened out here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go two inches in. Draw me a line right there. Come over here. Go two inches in, and my marker is not working. I think I went through that problem once before. All right, so now I got two here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one. I'm going to fold it like this, and sew this down. like this on there. You know, I think that's an awful big one. I think I need to cut it down. Don't want to cut too much. So let's do it like this. Put that one there. Put that one there. And I think that's going to be a big enough handle. Yeah. Okay, then we am going to go like this, and cut that, like that. So, now that one's going to go here, and this one's going to go over here. Alright, so let's get the sewing that down. Alright, I think I did a pretty good job there. Alright, now, as bad as I hate to, we are going to put that zipper on. Okay, let's get that snapped on there. Okay, so far that works out pretty good if we put the, the things down inside there, but I'm not going to do that right now. 
I'm going to work on figuring out how to put my zipper on. Because we want a zipper on it so that it will stay in there. So now I've got to figure that out. I think the first thing I need to do is fold this over and or I could take a piece of material put there and put one down here. And I think that'd be my better bet. But these right here really was a waste of time. But we're gonna go along with it anyway. Okay. So Figure this out. That one will be so there. That one, okay. I will cut this down now so that it will be even. I am going to do it. Now we got that even. We got that one even. So, now then. If I take, put this, aha, I think I have it figured out, I'll get that out of my way. If I take this right here down, like this, I'm going to sew this down. I think I need to go over just a little bit. So I'm not right into the blue. So this down. So let me do that. Alright. So now I got that one. Okay. So now that will work there. Now if I take this one. So it down right here. Let's keep these right here little tabs folded. So I'm gonna have to watch that whenever I do it. And I'm gonna put that one here and sew it down. Alrighty, now then here we have this. So let me be right back. Back to figuring this out. Okay. <laughs> so now, the e this right here is going to have to go like this up here. So I'm going to have to fold this one to the right here and sew it down. Right here on this one. Now I've got a curve right here. And then I'm going to sew hit down right across the same one that I had before. And I'll sew hit down. The same way over here. hit down. Ooh, somehow I got more than I need. Right here. Let's get this out of here. Okay. No, don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. Be easier on me. Alright. And go right here. And I'm just going to gather that right there. I guess that would be the best thing. I know what to do. Flatten this out this way. Pin it down. Okay. Now, let's take this one out. Now, when I come up here to this one, 
I'm going to kind of fold it into it. I'm going to keep it close to the edges like I possibly can now. So I can keep my room. Right, that head's going to be in the way, so I can turn this one around. I, I haven't never done one like this, so kind of like something new. Okay, now I got that one. Now let's go down here. Let's fold it. It will give it a little bit more room up here and make it easier. And then go down. Alright, let's fold that down and see what happens there. Oh, I hope I'm doing this right. We're going to find out when I get down, won't we? And then I go, oh no, I got to talk to a frog. I don't want to talk to no frog. Alright. So, I got this one right here. We'll go up here in this corner. And we're going to go down with it. Put some needle. Go right here. Put some another needle. This right here seems like it wants to bend easier. And go in there easier. Guess what I didn't do? I didn't leave this zipper open a little bit. Yep, I was planning on having a problem there. Then we go, huh, how can we work this one out? Alrighty. Now, what I'm doing over here is I'm zigzagging it. So I don't go too far into it and make this any smaller than it already is. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Alright, let's see how terrible I did. Let's see if it'll work out. Find the zipper. Give it a little zip open. Well. There we go. So far, so good. Yes. Yes. No. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh-uh. This right here ain't gonna work. <laughs> and I zigzag it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take us out. All right, now we got something to laugh about. All right, so now what we're gonna do is just take this one, put it in here, and what I want to do is I want to take and turn this down this way right here and sew it down this way right here so that the, uh, so the seam is inside the bag, not on the outside. that around there. Alright, so I'm going to sew it down. Now that we fixed this problem here, let's check it out and see how well I did. <laughs> if we have to do something else. I think it looks pretty good. You know, let's see if we can zipper it. <coughs> yep. It zippers. And it snaps. Okay. So, now let's see if we can't get this in there. See if we can do it. Put this one over here. That guess what? I'm not gonna rip this bobble, so we're just gonna set it down in there like that. Close it up. 
like that. Snap it and call it quits. Because I'm not going to pull on that and tear that up. And he's probably not going to open it up ever again. He's just probably going to put it up because it belonged to his dad or his grandpa. And that's all he wants is something to protect it. But I didn't want to just make a box and throw it in there. I wanted something kind of nice. And I think this right here works out pretty good. I mean, you got your pockets here. And then if he wants to, he's got the pockets on the inside to use. And open it up. Pull out his Bible. And then he's got these pockets here. So I think that's doing pretty good. I think it'll work out just fine. I think he'll like it. So, there it is. I can't say that it's that great, but it is different for me. Alrighty, we'll see you in the next video.